Hey guys, Bingo Cat here. So this video is going to be an overview of my Dell Latitude E7440 laptop. So I recently bought this laptop on eBay for $200 and I didn't really need another laptop, but I decided to get another laptop anyways. But the reason I decided to get this laptop, well, right here I have the uh, Dell Latitude E6230 and I don't have any problems with running applications on this laptop or anything like that. I was using this laptop to run Linux Mint on here, okay? And once again, Linux Mint ran fine. That That's not the problem with this laptop. The problem with this laptop is that the screen is absolutely terrible. The screen resolution is 1366 by 768 which isn't the highest resolution in the world. I, I think I can deal with that, but the viewing angles on this screen the viewing angles are awful, and just the colors aren't that great, and basically the screen on this laptop here, the screen is a hunk of junk. And so, I decided that I wanted to get a laptop with a better screen. So, this laptop actually has a 1080p screen, so 1920 by 1080 and it's IPS, so the viewing angles are actually pretty good. Now the reason I was able to get this laptop, and for that matter my other Dell Latitude laptop for so cheap, is because a lot of companies either lease their computers for like three or four years, or they'll go ahead and just purchase new computers after like three or four years. Because what companies like Dell and HP and Lenovo will do is they'll be like, Oh, your warranty is up for your laptop. That means if something goes wrong, not only are we not going to fix it, we're not going to give you any kind of uh, support whatsoever. So a lot of companies sort of have the mindset of, you know, might as well just start leasing new computers or just buy brand new computers after like three or four years. And to be perfectly honest with you, especially within like the last three or four years or ever since like 2011 or 2012, PCs, they have gone more powerful, but the software, on the other hand, that is running on these PCs, a lot of them, it just has not become much more demanding of, like, system resources. And a lot of the times, these PCs that are being replaced with brand new ones, they're in use by people who are only doing stuff like writing Word documents or just browsing the web. When to be honest, for a majority of these people, they could still be using Core 2 Duo computers and it would be more than fine for them. But on the plus side, you can get perfectly good, still fairly modern computers for cheap. Like my other laptop, I got this laptop specifically to run Linux distros on, so the Linux distro I actually chose for this laptop. I chose to go with Ubuntu 18.04, and the reason I chose to go with that instead of Linux Mint is because Linux Mint doesn't have any kind of automatic software updates. It doesn't even notify you if there's any kind of software updates ready for you to install on your computer. I mean, come on, even Windows could do that like 15, 20 years ago, but Linux Mint can't, seriously. Ubuntu does, on the other hand, and since Ubuntu and Linux Mint are so similar, I mean, they're both Ubuntu-based distributions. I mean, <laughs> duh, of course Ubuntu is Ubuntu-based, it's Ubuntu. Anyways, I just decided to put Ubuntu 18.4 on here. So, the laptop itself is pretty nice. Now this, it looks nice. I, I think this is like some kind of sheet metal or something like that. The build quality of this laptop is pretty good. So you got metal on the top, and then on the bottom of the laptop is of course just plastic. But like most of Dell's laptops, you can easily remove, you know, like covers and stuff on the bottom so you can actually get two various parts inside the laptop. So, what does that mean? It means this laptop is easy to repair and easy to upgrade, which is nice. And you can also remove the uh, pretty sizable battery here. So the specs on this thing, this has an i5-4300U processor in there, so a Haswell generation Intel processor. Now this came with 4 gigabytes of RAM, but I went ahead and bumped it up to 8 gigabytes of RAM. This thing also came with a 400 gigabyte hard drive, but I swapped that out for a 128 gigabyte SSD. Once again, the screen resolution is 1920 by 1080 and it's an IPS display. Now, as far as I.O. goes, on the left side of the laptop, there's an SD card slot and there's also a smart card slot. Now, on the back of the laptop, of course, you got power and then you got USB 3.0 port, HDMI port, 
Then there's actually a mini display port here, so that's pretty cool. Then there's more USB 3.0. Ethernet. On the right side of the laptop, there's a lock slot, another USB 3.0 port, a headphone jack, which once again, you don't find in a lot of modern electronics anymore, and you got wireless switch here. And then the last port here, you got a dock port, so that's pretty nice. So as you guys could see, that was quite a bit of ports on this laptop. Apple could take notes. So when you actually open up the inside of this laptop here, you got a fairly reasonable sized trackpad. Then you also got a little uh, pointing stick here or a nub or whatever you want to call it, which I don't really care for the nub. I almost never use it, but it's there if you want it. Then you got nice, I believe these are chiclet keys here. And then you also do have a power button separate from the keyboard, you know, where it should be, the power button should never be integrated with the rest of the keyboard. Take notes, Apple. Then of course you got volume controls up here. So the display of the laptop, it's a 14 inch 1920 by 1080 display. It's a pretty nice display. There's also a webcam above the display, you know, in the place it should go. Although the webcam quality itself is just absolute garbage town. So yeah, let's go ahead and turn on this laptop. Now, fun fact, when I bought this, this came with Windows 7 Professional on there. However, this laptop originally shipped, from what I can tell, with Windows 8.1 on here. But of course, um, I swapped out the hard drive for an SSD and put Ubuntu on here. And I gotta say, from, um, from experience so far, that Ubuntu does work fairly well on this laptop. So I'm going to go ahead and type in my super secret passcode and we'll be back. Alright guys, we are back. And Ubuntu took my super secret passcode and now I'm going to type in another super secret passcode. I'll be back. Alright guys, we are back. And we're waiting for Ubuntu to go ahead and load. And here we go. So boot time was pretty quick. I have no problems with boot time and I don't really have any problems with Ubuntu on here in general. So I'm going to go ahead and open the settings, and so once again, Ubuntu 18.4 LTS. Memory is 8GB of RAM, even though it says 7.7GIB down here. Processor i5-4300U, Haswell, and then 64-bit Ubuntu. And so I un uninstalled some of the apps that came on here, and also installed some apps, so like I installed Chrome, I installed GIMP, I installed Discord. So yeah, that was my overview of the Dell Latitude E7440. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like it if you like it, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Please check out my social media links linked down below in the description. I'm on Discord, Instagram, and Twitter, and Twitch, and I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye!